Greetings and friends, welcome back. I'm going to record a new video for you, and that is the video about means how you can start speaking and what you should do to improve your speaking. So, let's talk about that. ways to improve the English speaking okay so first of all I must tell you a point means when you speak the first thing is that you should try to speak step by step don't try to be an expert from the beginning okay so take it step by step okay let's make it little bigger here okay so take it step by step means suppose uh, you have known uh, yes means actually yeah, take me you have to take it step by step don't try to be an expert like suppose if uh, I ask someone like how are you and this is a simple sentence how are you then he says I'm fine thank you what about you I'm fine to thank you or uh, some more phrases you can take like excuse me I'm looking for mr. X like that so means take you have to go through simple phrases and try to use simple phrases in your speaking so that will help you to improve your speaking right and now you can say i'd like to have a cup of tea like that okay so let's take uh, next step and don't try to speak too much okay again I have to make it bigger don't say too much means if you in the beginning if you try to speak too much then definitely you may commit some mistakes so it is better to use simple and short sentences okay hmm. then Next point is very important as you know it very well practice makes a man perfect that you know it and practice makes a man perfect means the more you speak the better you can speak and more the more fluent you can be so try to speak English with your friends with your teachers or try to make a group of people who really want to improve English so you can talk to one another that's the way okay and next point is as I have already told you then try to keep it very simple and short sentences don't try to make the sentences bigger and complex Okay, like suppose uh, uh, this is a pen and I want to speak about it. Then simple, I should say simple. I mean, I can use simple sentences and short sentences. Like it's a pen. It's a pen. It's my favorite pen. It's my favorite pen. I keep it with me always. I keep it with me always it's a new pen or it's an old pen I got that pen five years back but I keep it with me I like it very much it's a lucky pen for me so you see I have made many sentences but these are very simple and short sentences so try to speak it that 
uh, in that way. Me take it step by step. Don't say too much. Practice makes a man perfect. The more you speak, the better you speak. Keep it simple, short, right. Hmm. Next is, let's talk about next. Uh, <coughs> use every way you can communicate. Means, don't try, suppose if you want to learn English, then you must use every possible way to communicate in English. So, uh, means don't try to express your ideas or your views in your own mother tongue. You have to be very determined for that. I mean, if you want to learn English, try to use all possible way to communicate in English. Suppose you are in a train and you are feeling hot or you are in a bus and you are feeling hot and you want to speak in English mean you want to open the window but suppose if you don't uh, have that word in your mind that time then you simply can uh, say like can I open uh, can I open that I'm feeling hot means so <coughs> uh, suppose you want to have something like uh, you are feeling thirsty and you want to have water. You can simply say, water please, a glass of water please. If you can't say like that, may I have a glass of water or can I have a glass of water. You can simply say, a glass of water please. So try to use every possible way to communicate. Okay. And next is, record yourself. Means if it is possible, Try to record your voice and listen to it. That is always a very very good idea to listen to yourself. You come to know how you speak, how you express the sentences, words and where you commit mistakes. So that will help you to come over your mistakes so that you may do okay and next is never give up we don't give up definitely you may take some time to learn or to be fluent but it is <coughs> advisable not to give up means keep practicing and Keep learning without giving it up, right? And next and very important point is accept help from others. We don't feel shy if you need to take help from others. If they know better than you, then there is nothing wrong if any kind of help is taken from them. So don't hesitate to take help from others. Okay, that will help you to improve your English.